This is a demo of the Drupal Commerce point of sale, showcasing some basic admin configuration and the core functionality of a standard checkout. Let's start with the settings. Administrators are able to create and edit locations, registers, and cashiers, as well as configure receipts and currency denominations. If we click into registers, we can get a quick view of which ones are active. From here, you can add a new register or edit an existing one. You can edit the name, location, and float amount for any register. Going into the receipts area, administrators are able to customize the header and footer sections with their company information. This applies to the printed receipts only. Additional configuration is available for email receipts. Now that we have our settings all configured, let's open the day in the point of sale. Step one is to choose our register. As you can see, they are organized within our location. Next, we determine our float amount and we'll enter the sales screen. Before being able to process any transactions, your cashier is required to log in with their designated cashier code. This ensures accountability and sales tracking. So let's make a sale. Cashiers can manually search for items, or in a retail setting, this point of sale can use barcode scanners to quickly pull in the items. The point of sale uses Apache Solar to easily find items based on keywords or SKUs. Now that we have our items, we can adjust the quantities and apply the product discounts using either a percentage or a flat amount. The discount is immediately applied in the order details to the right. The notes function allows cashiers to add details regarding the discount or sale. The note is instantly applied to the order and can be reviewed in the journal roll reports. Cashiers have the ability to include customer information on each transaction. You can create a new customer profile or apply order details to an existing profile. These profiles track user activity both in-store and online. Additional features include parking an order for later completion, voiding the transaction, and the ability to add a discount to the entire order rather than just individual products. Let's click on Pay and complete the transaction. We are now taken to the tender screen where retailers can offer a variety of different tender types. Let's choose cash for our tender. We have quick pay options or you can manually enter the cash given. The customer is going to pay $25 cash. It has been applied against the total but we're still owed $23.72. We'll apply the remainder onto the customer's debit. If we need to, we can void out the payment type and choose a new one. We'll complete the purchase using credit. The terminal button here shows that the POS can be integrated with your terminal hardware. This shoots the totals directly to the machine, eliminating human error. If need be, you can still park the bill, void it, or even add gratuity. But let's just go ahead and finish this transaction. Once completed, the print window will pop up. The point of sale is fully integrated with your receipt printer hardware. Customers can choose to have receipts emailed to them as well. The return process is much like a sale. You can enter the items manually, enter the transaction ID, or use the barcode scanner to pull up the order details. Let's have a look at the Reports tab. We have our End of Day Report, Journal Roll, and Sales Report. The End of Day Report allows you to enter your daily counts into the appropriate tender area. The overshort will update as you enter your declared amounts so that you can correct any errors immediately. The journal role is a summary of all transactions through your register for the day. This includes details such as the cashier using the register, the customer profile, and any discounts that were applied, as well as the corresponding notes. You can choose a different register from any location to see the corresponding sales reports, as well as the journal role. And that completes our Drupal Commerce point of sale demo. We saw basic administrative configuration, a complete sales transaction, and reporting functionality. 
If you're interested in a more in-depth discussion surrounding the Drupal Commerce point of sale or just Drupal Commerce 2.x, just submit your inquiry through the contact form.